I don't understand you. We set. But what's the point of what? I think I got to my first thirty p. What's this? Your wages? Yes, I've been saving them up. It's brilliant. Got some even some fives in there what too. What did you get for thirty p in your donation? Um. Well. Can you buy a Philip Pet with thirty p? It's not on sale yet. I mean, it's going to be a success. I, some of the manufacturers have been a little bit silly about it, but I'm sure it will oh, go on sale. Oh, you actually invented the Philip Pet. Oh, yes. No, listen, we're not supposed to talk about Philip Pet. Sorry, 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 sorry. Look, you can't just... You've got to sign the contract. You've got to continue the contract. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to the Fulton family? Um, well, um, what, what is going to happen to the Fulton family? Well, they were meant to be told ages ago that I was dying. But I thought yeah. we could just... Keep the joke running for. You know, keep the joke. I mean, keep the, the sort of thing running for you know for years. I mean, your life, your life span is much longer than anyone else's. Um, you know, these they have to come to an end, don't they? But oh, do you want a game for it then? What? Do you want to, if I play it down for and win, then I can do what I want, yeah. And what? if I lose, then you can do what you want. You saying you're you're willing to bet? Yes. What, we play some sort of game and then if if I win, then you stay on the contract? Yes. Very, very, fair, very unusually fair of you? Yes, I know. I just mm. haven't just like, from time to time. Oh, it's just the, it's the, the luck of the draw, is it sort of the <laughs> thrill of the game or something? Yeah, well, whatever. Can you play the game? Alright, what do you want to play? Downfall, it's a downfall. Okay. That's what I mean. So what, what colour, what colour am I? What? What, hmm? what colour am I? I uh, your colours. yellow and orange down there, just pick them up. But could we get someone else to play, Harry? If you, if you don't, is there anyone else? No, you? sorry, I'm sorry, it's got to be you. Yeah, but I mean, if, if you, if you don't want to sign this contract, surely there must be another man from another dimension who can come? Can no, no one else, I'm afraid. What are we going to do? How are we going to break it to them? Well, um, them. Well, Mr. Mrs. Harry. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I told you, my dad killed himself. Would you, you just tell me that? Oh, sorry. Did no, you well, you now know anyway. Please? <laughs> yes, Why? yes. Why? When? How? Probably, you probably do a world a favour, I think. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure they're okay. But the mother, they're still yeah, the no, mother. Yes, I know, but she's not really all there now, is she? <laughs> oh. This is terrible. I mean, but we still need your help. I mean... Okay. What are the... Oh, this is... Let's set up the arrows. I haven't seen that. Look, mine's moved around. Is this your imagination? No, it has. <coughs> okay, so. Alright, your move. Oh. Um. Right, my move? Yes. Oh, uh, right, okay. Basically, I do what I want. Um, Harry, you're one of Um, excuse me. What, what's wrong, what's wrong? Um, is it my move? Yes, we'll go okay now. Okay, I've had my move, Harry. Let's your go. I've got to win this. I've got to win this. I mean, 
if I don't win this. Right, yeah. I've only got one more counter left, Paul. What? And there it is, there. So. I don't. You won quickly. He's like, yes. You won rather very quickly, didn't you? You won. Yes. So. Total, total does that mean? For you. Does that mean I I lost? If you won, did I lose? Yes, I'm afraid that I lost. That's, that's, that's the truth of the matter, I'm afraid, Paul. You just got to accept that I'm now um, no longer under your control. But but the contract it lasts until the summer. Hmm. You've got to keep it up till then. I mean. No, I think I'll pop them back to my own dimension. So uh, um, I have been offered this brilliant job. But the contract, you've got to keep the contract until the end of the year. Oh, I mean, okay then, if you say so. But I mean, not, not the end of this year, because it's only it's nearly the end of two days. I mean, until till the time, not the time when you're supposed to finish. Because oh, right. the, the Fulton, I mean, we guess we'll, okay, we'll, we'll tell the Fulton, Mrs. Fulton, we'll break it to her, but... But, um, I don't know, she's not really in a state to take very much in. But, we got to keep except, it. Except, um, sort of broth and herbal tea and stuff like that. But, but Harry, the whole family would collapse and the whole ecosystem of your family. Not just your parents, but well, your relatives. there's not very much from my family left, really, is there? The relatives. I mean, they've all died off of one but another thing or another. Please stay, they? Harry. I mean, um, you've got to stay. Hmm. Because if you don't stay, Robin will die of sadness. Now you're trying to make me go, aren't you? Um. What about the budgie? The budgie? The budgie in the house here? Yeah, I didn't think so, really cool. Um, Besides, I've got my own budgie at home. But what about Sutton Park? So, um, there's lots of terrible things, I need your help. And mm. I die, I'll die if baby. No, I think you've got, you've got around without, you know, the help of me. But, but I mean, you've you're so important. And stuff and like, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're so important. No, no, I'm not. Totally unimportant. And uh, I don't think you'll miss me because um, I would have ghosted him anyway. Okay, well, it's been nice knowing you, etc. So you have a nice life. Hey. Yes. Can't let you go. Oh, yes, I'm pretty. He's right, though, viewers. There's no reason he should stay on to play Harry. Not if there's no family to convince. He's a free agent. We're going to have to accept it. Life without Harry. Okay. Okay, Harry. Oh, I accept. I mean, nothing I can do really, is there? Really, really, no. Well, well you, you'll hang around to the end of the holidays, will you? Yeah, so I'll see you from time to time, pop in, see you from time to time, stuff like that, you know, just generally. What do you mean? You want to, you can, I suppose you, I suppose you mean you'll, you'll pop back to Earth? Yes, yeah. And you yeah. fancy a good laugh or whatever? Yes, yeah, that's the sort of thing, yes. You got it just right there, Paul. When you want to be star billing? Yeah. Oh, I Something. know what, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. what you want to do. You want to be known as, as the character who, <sighs> who used to be in the early days of Sutton Park, but as it went downhill, you sort of left at the peak. Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> so I did. But that's what you were thinking. Hmm. I see. Maybe I should leave the series, and then people remember me as the most famous actor in the that's series. That's a brilliant idea, Paul. But if I did that, the series would stop. Oh, yeah. No, maybe you should leave. You can be the... You can be the figurehead f person who everyone thinks of. Oh yes, it was so. It was so much nicer when he was there. Oh look, he's come back into the series. It's wonderful. Oh right, yeah, like like the Golden Girls. Hey, you don't yeah. look much like the Golden Girls. No, no, when that old sort of oh, woman who looked, who looked like a man came back in the Golden Palace. Look, oh. I watched anything like that. Oh her? What you mean? You mean you want to? Yeah, you want to break up the team? Yeah. Her, you. Oh, you're just selfish. Well, then uh, that's what I should expect from her now that I mention her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll meet again okay, yeah. next week to do the ley lines. And yeah, and that'll be it. Uh, that'll be it. Oh, well, anyway, nice to know you. Well, it's nice to know you as well. Yeah. If it. Uh, yeah, just, bye bye then. Say bye. bye. The real Harry wouldn't have done yeah, that. Bye, push off. Nothing like the just real Harry. Can I just say, can I just say, can I just say just that up. you're nothing like the real Harry? And I, I would. I don't care. I mean, you're not as good as the real Harry. Yes, you're good. Pathetic. You're pathetic. No, 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 you're not ham. as good as the other Harry. You're a pathetic ham, you're nothing like him. I'm glad you're leaving. 
goodbye. Hello, Panda. Hello, you're a nice cat, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> One of their girls, yes. Hello, viewers, back again. I'm sorry to expose you to that argument that we, Harry and I had, but if he wants to leave the series, then he can leave the series, and if he wants to take a sort of starring role again at some point, then he's quite welcome to it, but as he said, there's, there's no real reason for him to stay around anymore, and the real Harry, the real Harry passed away in the summer, and when, what's the point in hanging on to it, hanging on to his memory? I mean, obviously, it's, we can look back and remember the real Harry, but this new Harry, he's, he's not even, he's not, he's not Harry, is he? So I don't think why I'm getting so worried about it, but, uh, anyway, um, oh, what was I going to say? Yes, oh, uh, I was talking to Robin again on the phone, and he said he might pop over tomorrow night, uh, that's New Year's Eve. So uh, that should be quite fun. Um, I hope he, hope he manages to make it. That would be quite good. Anyway, I was going to see if I could find Clive. Um, Clive the Clock. Because uh, after last night, he uh, a bit upset. But, uh, huh. Yes, well, uh, I, would, I would think he's downstairs. Grey. Yeah. I can't find him. What? Clive. Clive. Outside. Have yeah. you seen him? No. Big Grey. You. You really mustn't tease him. He took it really seriously. He thought you were another clock. He's not. He may be a computer, but he hasn't got very good brain. I mean, I mean, he doesn't understand that. Oh, he's taking the piss. But you know, he. He, he oh, took sorry, it. Sir. He took it seriously. He did take it seriously. But oh, sorry. I left him last night. He was rather upset. He was talking to the telephone. The telephone. He thought the telephone. You know, he thinks anything electronic <laughs> is like him. He doesn't realise that things are. Like, he thought. He's wearing. He's wearing a cup. Yeah, but. I'm gonna have to go and find him. He must be somewhere. Okay. But, uh, I don't suppose he'll commit suicide. I mean, I don't think computers could do that. But they could, they could, could scramble take the circuits, it, or, or they could take out their microchips mm. or slice no, their cords. Doing, anyway, aren't you doing the food tomorrow? We're having a yeah. sort of little party, aren't we? Or something? Yeah. Are you doing the food? Oh, we'll have to video that then, see how you're going. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to look for Clive. I'll see you. Okay. Bye. All right. Clive? Clive? Well, this is Box. He can't be in his box, surely. We're only going... Clive, what are you doing in your box? Come on, you come outside. You be... It's 6 or 8 p.m. I know it is. Of course it's 6 or 8 p.m. or whatever you said. It's 6 or 9 p.m. 6 or 9, is it? You're coming out, I'm sorry, hard luck. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Look. You're all right, we'll stop arguing. Look, just sit up, you sit and, and you can... There's another telephone in the other room which you can talk to if you want to. Tough. the phone. Sit with the phone. There you are. You talk to it. There's another clock here. Another clock. Hey, oh, sorry.
Yes, to you, sir. Viewers, have you seen um, have you seen Clive? He's not by the phone anymore. It's very strange. <sighs> I don't know. When you think of it, there's lots of mysteries in life, isn't there? I mean, I'm sure 1994 will be no different. Anyway, so many mysteries. Anyway, I'm sure he'll turn up. Ah. <sighs> Wonder where he is. Never mind. Oh well. Well, one day left of 1993. 
thought I might pop into town and solve another one of those mysteries. I thought I'd pop in on Paul. You know, my friend Paul. Find out. Find out what's going on. I mean, he didn't recognise me last time. Just, just walked right past me. I think I ought to go and have a word with him. Probably just a harmless misunderstanding. I'll see you there tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hello viewers. Yes, I'm uh, heading on my way to Paul's now. He doesn't know I'm coming though, so I'm a bit worried about sort of knocking on his door and sort of, I don't know, maybe I've offended him or something. I don't know. I don't want to be chucked out. I don't think, I can't, I mean, I haven't seen him. When did I last see him before Bournemouth? Um, gosh. Um, it was, it was an awfully long time ago, whenever it was. I, I we left on good terms then. This is very odd. Apparently, viewers, the Salisbury Ley Line runs right across there. Hello, yes, I was just uh, looking at the cathedral through the, the special telescope in the grounds, which is supposed to be able to pick up the ley lines, but uh, it doesn't work, it's just a sort of touristy thing. But uh, anyway, at least we know where the epicentre of all those, or the, of the ley lines are. But uh, the thing is, Robbie made a slight mistake in that um, he forgot that not all ley lines are straight. Most, the majority of them are, but not all of them. And the one that we were fo was following definitely wasn't straight because it went all the way up to Andover, diverted up to Andover and di diverted back to Salisbury. And that was nothing to do with the, the, the claw or the Sutton Park influence. It was, it was just was a natural feature. But generally they are straight, but not in that case. But uh, anyway, I've, I've uh, got my detector with me. Yes, got it with me. But uh, we're not actually going to the ley lines in Downton until uh, Tuesday anyway. Wednesday, sorry, yeah, Wednesday. My goodness, that was quite strong. I know there's a ley line just passing by, but that's a very strong ley line. My goodness. Anyway, I better go and head off towards Paul's now, I suppose.
got a thing here about um, Quarry or something. Italian painter. I mean, it's, it's easy to bang something into that because it's not going to affect anything. Oh, I'm gonna end up there. It's gonna be late. Cause it, they thought, oh, so. oh, cool. I was, I was just heading towards your house actually. No. I'm sorry. I, 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 didn't realize, I thought you'd be in. I didn't realise. I'm sorry. Um. Well. Uh. How are you? Oh, okay. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah, I did. It was good. It was quite good. Yeah. I said I had a flu. I had flu and things yeah. like that. But uh, I'm so. I saw you in Bournemouth the other day. Oh. In Bournemouth. Yeah. Um, I ran right up to you, but well, you, you didn't seem to see me. I, I, I was worried I thought I'd offended you or something. Did you not see me? Um, no, no, I didn't see you. Sorry. I was getting Christmas presents and stuff oh, in the right. town. Oh, that's okay. No, just, I, I saw you and I thought, oh yeah, I must rush after you. I tripped over there and uh, my looked like you have gone. So, I mean, um, I was worried. How oh, unfortunate. I, yeah, I, I thought I thought I might have offended you or something like that. Oh, I mean, uh, yes, you did actually. Why? No. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just yeah. uh, oh, me being so sensitive. It's just all this thing with Sutton Park at the moment, I don't know when things, you know, what things are going on. You know. I know, it's, 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 it's going on for quite a long time though, isn't well, it? Well, it is going on for quite a long time. Uh, and, but it's not, not much I can do about it at the moment. It, uh, it just seems to have a life of its own, all the evil, evilness and things like that. But uh, anyway, well, I, I, I was going to come over and see you, but if you're if you're going, are you going out somewhere? Are you going? To no, I have to get some picture hooks because my oh, parents right. gave me a a, a poster a yeah. for Christmas, uh -huh. and they didn't give me any picture <coughs> hooks. Oh right. And it's got to, they've got to be really thick though because um, it's a very it's a very big poster, mm. but they print print I got in Covent Garden which is eight pounds yeah. and the actual um, cost of the frame and everything was about 20, 25 pounds or something yeah. which is actually more than um, whoops which is actually more than um, what the actual print cost yeah. it was really expensive we went to that fast frame shop in the mm -hmm. um, in the salt uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yes. in the market square right, yeah. the market square it was and the girl she was really rude as well Actually, I'm quite an expert. She goes, excuse me, excuse uh, me, where'd you get that print from? I've got an expert on pictures, but then I can come and help you if you want and try and find this, this thing. Yeah. Go for coffee or something afterwards. So. Sure, yeah. it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a famous picture. It's, um, it's 1960s, yeah. but it, if you saw it, you'd, you'd recognise it. Oh, I think you did. This girl in the shop said she saw it in, um, yeah. in a shop, a printing shop. Oh, okay. uh, in a book row, and um, she thought it was, it was quite a famous one. It's um, of a waterfall, but it's blowing mm -hmm. back. Well, come on, better get going before the shop's closed, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, so you doing anything tonight for New Year's Day or anything New Year's Eve? No? Uh, low-key. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I must tell you about Southern Park. It's quite terrible, you know. It's really bad. It's going on for ages.